A rescue container ensures the safety of the crew who work or reside inside the tunnel in the event of fire, explosion or by gas or smoke developments. The rescue container always accompanies the advancing tunnel face. The rescue container must be placed maximum 500 meters from the face. It should never be closer than 25 meters from potential fire sources. Never store things around or on top of the container. The container should always be placed so it's clearly visible in both directions and be marked with luminous paint or otherwise be lit on the outside. This container is designed for six people and is dimensioned for a stay of maximum eight hours. It's equipped with six oxygen bottles and six masks. It's also equipped with its own power supply and radio. On the wall inside the container, there's an exact explanation on how to use it. The rescue container shall additionally contain the minimum of a first aid stretcher with woolen blankets, first aid kit, an eye wash, a scaling rod, sledgehammer and fire extinguisher, a wrench, and drinking water. In the event of fire, evacuation will be initiated and notified over the radio communications. Then quickly move out of the tunnel, or if that's not possible, into the rescue container. Remember to bring your self-rescuer. You may need it on the way. In cases where there are more than six people going into the rescue container, the self-rescuer can work as an extra oxygen mask. When you and your co-workers have gotten into the rescue container, it's important to remember the following. Sit down and try to remain calm. Contact the crew on the outside of the tunnel through the radio in the container and specify who has come to the container. A person will continuously keep you informed about what is happening on the outside. If extra oxygen becomes necessary, the oxygen bottles can be opened. These are connected in series. The operating manual is located on the wall above the bottles. When three people or fewer sit on the same side and open up the three bottles belonging to the side you're sitting on. The bottles furthest to the right belong to the masks on the right side of the container and the bottles furthest to the left belong to the left side. Take the mask down from the shelf and remove the plastic bag. Plug it into the connector in the wall below the shelf and place the mask over your face. The mask is adjusted by pulling on the cords. The mask is activated as soon as you begin to breathe in it. Remain calm. Do not leave the rescue container until you are told to or being evacuated by firefighters. Firefighters are equipped with smoke diving equipment and have an additional outlet for oxygen that our mask will fit in. The rescue container is the tunnel worker's lifeline in the event of fire. The tunnel will quickly fill up with smoke, making it impossible to breathe. Therefore, we must ensure that the rescue container accompanies us as we move further into the tunnel. It must always be connected to power, emergency power, and the radio must be in order. 